I'll first do the first goal because I think there might have been um, you know, a, a goalkeeping incident. Can you walk us through your take on the first goal? Uh, I don't remember exactly. I don't remember um, everything about the goal. Uh, we were just discussing the same thing. Right Look back at the tapes at, and see the, the video. Of the day. Uh, what I recall though, Andre made a, a brilliant save. He got a touch and the ball hit the bar, came back to the ball. Uh, as I said, we'll we have to watch the tape and then we can discuss. Yes, so not, not, to, not to stay up any issues, do you think Andre Blake could have been more dominating and, and more a bigger present in the six yard box today? I don't think most of the crosses were in the six yard box. Uh, they were a bit with pace and they were played mostly to the far post because we know we know Mexico players, uh, they use the wings, try to get crosses in. Uh, Andre normally dominates his, his area anyway, so if the crosses were close to him, I'm sure he would have done capture a punch. You know, I don't think the crosses were, were close. But um, adding to that, uh, a lot of people have this, uh, have this notion where they think that every ball that is played inside a six yard box is for a goalkeeper. If the ball is whipped in with pace, there's no way a goalkeeper is going to get there. Sometimes a ball is played even at a foot or two from a goalkeeper. Cannot move because of the, 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 the trajectory or the pace of the ball. But a lot of times I don't discuss football Jamaicans yeah. in general. A lot of Jamaicans, they know the rules of the yes. game. They don't know the inner part of the game, meaning from a coach's aspect, how to analyze and to break down and to look at things. So some of the time I don't get involved discussing for ball with, 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 with people, to be honest. Completely honest. And last question, um, you would have been the goalkeeping coach for, um, for Jamaica for as long as I can remember, right? From 09. Yeah, and under a different regime now, are you comfortable uh, as Paul accepted you as his goalkeeping coach and one of his assistants with open arms? Is everything proper set in that regard? Everybody, remember Paul played with us in yeah. 98 um, and we still have, we, we still have a, a, a magnificent relationship. And yeah, everybody is comfortable. There are no issues where the, the coaching staff or the players are concerned. I mean, the build up for this game was fantastic. We couldn't have asked more of the players. Everybody was focused. And we saw the performance even when we were down to 10. But again, that's just how it goes. But um, again, you play the US, you play the Mexico, the two top teams in Concacaf. And the people you least expect to influence the games are the ones who influence it. You go to the CONCACAF Gold Cup, tournament is set for both teams to meet in all finals. And it's, it's, it's just sickening, to be honest, it's sickening that at this level, there's no... You, you hear FIFA say, this might be a controversial statement, but I'm a person who I, I speak my mind. Um, FIFA speaks about fair play. I can, and this is something even before, we qualified. I've been telling friends from I remember from 1990 that there are some things beyond players' control that are going to happen in games, yeah. and we continue to see it. Uh, I don't know. Kakakov has to do something, in my opinion. I think they have to start looking at, at getting outside officials when it comes on to World Cup qualifications because I mean this is embarrassing the, the, the performance of the officials tonight. All right. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us.